morning, everyone. Welcome back to our first full day in London. Steven's going to put his shoes on because we're actually just about to leave. So yesterday we flew in. If you saw that vlog, we were all pretty tired. I was basically falling asleep at the end of the last vlog and you guys, I got 14 hours of sleep last night. I was so worried that going to bed as early as I did, I went to bed at like 7.30, that I was then gonna wake up at like 4 a.m. and just be wide awake. I slept until 9.30. I Sierra really pushed almost 14 hours. 14 hours? How long did you sleep? I probably slept from like 9 eight which is still good almost 12 hours so I am well rested ready to go yeah I am like so energized so excited so ready to hit the London town <laughs> we are gonna be full-on tours today we got tickets for one of the hop on hop off buses so we are basically just gonna ride around to all the different little sites see what there is to see walk around do a lot of big things and then tonight oh my gosh you guys tonight we are seeing six the musical just me my little brother Austin and Steven though my parents are gonna have a date night uh, I am so excited I know I should be enjoying like the the fun historical touristy things too but I'd be lying if I said seeing six wasn't the number one thing I'm most excited for I have been blasting blasting this cast album since my friend Hannah Witten showed it to me in May in May and literally immediately after she showed it to me I was like okay I'm buying tickets which actually it was such a bummer but of course the one week that I happened to be here because I of course told Hannah as soon as I booked the trip I was like I'm coming to you I'm coming to London and she had already booked a trip out of London she's on like a girls weekend this weekend so I won't be able to meet up with Hannah which I'm bummed about but she comes to the States like every year so I at least get to see her then and if I ever make my way back to London it would be super fun to be able to like see it from a local's perspective I think that's always fun but today's gonna be a tourist day so uh, let's do it oh wait let me show you my outfit because it's real cute so I just have this black v-neck t-shirt from Madewell and then these green pants from Topshop I actually filmed a haul that should be up in like a week, I think, on my main channel where I got a bunch of clothes for this trip. These pants are one of the things that I got. I am absolutely obsessed with them. And then I just have my Adidas, my good walking shoes, and my Gucci belt. Whitehall Gardens. The Whitehall Gardens. Right <laughs> you shouldn't have given up the sign. I was just gonna take it that you were that knowledgeable. <laughs> Unfortunately not. So we went, well we didn't go into Buckingham Palace because it's like, I think it was like 40 pounds well, and yeah. we, we were there during the changes of the guard ceremony. So yeah. It was just incredibly crowded. So we got to see that which was really really cool but then it would have been like four hours of our day to go into the palace so we decided just to walk like through the little garden and through yeah. the little park and it was actually really really pretty. We stopped and got coffee at one point and then now we are actually heading back to the bus stop because we are going to go to oh the Tower of London. Yeah. Which we just missed the bus for. So. Oh did we really? <laughs> My mom and my little brother were doing yoga in this little park here. My mom always does yoga when we travel. Like we were oh. in front of the White House and she was doing her like warrior two pose. And I was like, mom, wow. yeah, no. I mean, look at, look at the garden ranch, very peaceful. Yeah, it is, it's very Show it pretty. Off. Show it off a little bit, nice little pan. There we go, Steven got some good Instagram pictures for me. I'll insert the one right here. You can go check it out on my Instagram, at Schultzy to see all of our travel photos. It's been weird though, like every time I post on my Instagram story, I'm like, oh yeah, it's like 4 a.m. back yeah. home. <laughs> yeah, so you gotta, you gotta figure that out. But I DMs with people being like, I'm so used to you posting in the middle of the night for me because I live in the UK yeah, or I live in Europe. Awesome. Now it's actually in my time zone. So good for some people, yeah. bad for others. All right, let's go to our bus stop. So yeah. We'll miss the next bus. yeah, let's go. Let's go. So we're at this cafe having lunch and I checked my DMs <laughs> on Instagram like I normally do and either my account got hacked or some weird link got access to my account. It just started sending like messages, like links to other people's accounts with like random, like, a random like well, yeah, no, 
know, but then like the text was just like a bunch of random letters. You're the like technical person. I don't know the right word. So, so it's the same thing that Facebook would do. Facebook, like every now and then you would send out random messages from your account. Yeah. It's like when you click, but like if you give someone permission to like view your profile. Yeah. Like maybe one of your apps, you have that connect to your Instagram. I don't know. My, my stomach hurts. Like my hands are shaking. Like I'm so freaked out. But I went and I changed my password, so hopefully everything is good now. And then I just sent, DM'd everyone who I had my account had DM'd, being like, "Hey, sorry, my account got messed up." But I'm like freaked out. Obviously, this isn't a big deal. Like, I'm, I don't think my account is like hacked or like compromised. But even just having people send messages from my account, like that's never happened to me. So I feel like weird about it, like shaky and like nervous. I don't know. I'm gonna try to just forget about it. But I'm like freaked out. I don't like it. So this a cool little view here. Um, this is an obelisk right in front of me. Is that how you say it? Obelisk? Obelisk? I thought it was ob obelisk. And then behind me, this is the National Gallery that we just went and walked through and saw some fancy, fancy paintings. And then while we were doing that, uh, my dad came and sat out here with Steven because they got bored. And so it's just me, my mom, and Austin for the last bit, but we just came out and joined them. Austin jumped up there. See the big obelisk over here, but I don't really feel like jumping up there. So my mom and I are just chilling over here. It overlooks tra what is it? Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar Square. Trafalgar. We were gonna go do the Tower of London, but we decided to just take our time in this area, and we're gonna do that either like tomorrow or Sunday or Monday, and just kind of take our time today, since we do have to be back at the Airbnb at a decent time, so that we can get ready to go see Six. to see Six the Musical. I am so excited. I have been waiting for this. I just couldn't be more stoked. Austin and Steven already went and got their seats, but of course I had to make a trip to the merch booth. I'll show you guys what I got when we get back to the Airbnb, but for now, time to put the camera away and enjoy Six. Also, London theater is much cheaper than like Broadway theater, like West End theater versus Broadway theaters in New York. It's like literally half the price. So we sprung for some second row seats and they were only, I think it was 40 pounds per seat. Second row, center. So excited. That was so good. I'm literally just like reeling. Like I'm on cloud nine. That was amazing. Like literally during the first song, I just started tearing up because I was so excited, like so excited. And then in the last number, they say you can film. So of course I whipped out my camera. Here's what I got. <laughs> The only thing, the only thing that wasn't perfect was that there's no stage door tonight because they said that the, the queens have an event that they are doing tonight. So they didn't come out and do a meet and greet. They didn't come out and sign, but I did buy a playbill, which is super, super great to have as a souvenir. Yeah, look, it's already signed. <laughs> I know, they have printed on the playbill like the names of each of the queens. So I have this and I will go home and show you guys all the merch I got. But all I can say is if you're in, London, come see Six. If you're in Chicago, go see Six because it's in Chicago right now. And it's coming to Broadway in February. So you know I will have to make a trip to New York next year, early 2020, to see Six because I'm just so excited. I love the show. Stream the cast album now. Link in the description. Probably not because I'm probably gonna forget, but I'm gonna try my best. It's so good. I'm obsessed. It was even better on stage. And there were so many things that I missed in the cast recording that then in the stage show like made so much sense. It was just, ugh. 10 out of 10. So good. What did you guys think? It was really good. You it, liked was, it? it was fun. Yeah. That was the best way to describe it. What do you think? Magical. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I know. It was so good. I have great taste in shows. You guys are welcome for choosing this one. Hannah told me about it. <laughs> Hannah did tell me about it. So Thank, Thank you, Hannah. Hannah. Thank you, Hannah Witten for telling me about my new favorite show. Well, not even new, because it's been my favorite show since like May, but 
since then. What? It beat Hamilton? No, it's my current favorite show. It's not favorite of all time. All right, I am back in our Airbnb. I'm actually in the kitchen right now because the door to the kitchen closes, but there's good light. I'm pretty sure my parents are already asleep. It's like 10.30 and I don't wanna wake them up, but there's like no light in our room. So if I go in there, then uh, you won't be able to see me. So. The kitchen is our nice little setup. As I said, Six the Musical was absolutely wonderful. I said I was gonna rate it on my list of Broadway shows, even though it's technically not a Broadway show, it's a West End show. Also, my first ever West End show, and it was a really good one to be my first. So here's my list my ranking of every Broadway show that I've seen. So I wouldn't say it's as good as my tied top four, which are Hamilton, Come From Away, Dear Evan Hansen, and Waitress. Um, I don't think it's as good as Hades Town, but it is definitely better than Wicked, Spring Awakening, and Be More Chill. So I'm gonna put it right under Hades Town. There goes six, the musical. Let me show you guys what I got at the merch station. I usually buy like maybe one thing at a show, usually not even that. Sometimes I'll get a t-shirt, Sometimes I won't get anything, sometimes I'll get a mug, but being that six is, you know, not only my first West End show, but my current favorite show, I went a little wild. So first of all, they don't give you programs like they do at Broadway shows. You have to buy them if you want one. So I bought a program. <laughs> This was $4, so not too expensive, and it feels like more high quality than the playbills in New York. I got this tote bag oh, that says six and has a little crown on it, which I think is really, really cute. And then I got a mug. Let me unbox it. So it says six, and then it has the little gold silhouettes of each of the six queens. Super, super cute. And now that I am a cappuccino slash latte drinker, I figured out I actually like lattes better than cappuccinos. I like the ratio of milk to foam better. So I do still like cappuccinos, but I prefer a latte. But regardless, now that I drink espresso-based coffee drinks, it's fun to have a six mug to drink out of every morning. And then I got this sweatshirt that's just black and then it says six in the right hand corner and the eye is dotted with an embroidered crown. So this looks super, super comfy. I will most definitely enjoy wearing this on the flight home. And then this shirt was actually on sale because they're discontinuing it, which made me doubly excited. It is a black t-shirt that says get down and has the crown as the W. Get down is one of the songs, probably my favorite song to jam out to from the show. It's the one that I put on like the loudspeaker at the YouTube lounge at VidCon. <laughs> Everyone was looking around like, what is this? And I'm like, it's get down from Six the Musical, the smash West End hit, duh. As you can tell, I'm a bit of a fangirl for Six. So that is everything I got. Definitely uh, went a little bit crazier than I planned with how much merch I bought, but not mad about it. Actually, very, very glad that I decided to spring for the sweatshirt and the mug. Those were like my two last minute decisions. I knew I was gonna get the t-shirt and the tote bag. And then at the last second, I was like, mm, I'm only gonna see Six once. Well, Six in London once, probably, unless I come back to London and see Six again, which honestly could happen. I don't know. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed our first day in London vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys either tomorrow or the next day with another London vlog. Bye.